Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, and if you are new here, welcome, welcome. My channel is completely nail polish obsessed, and we do live application of pretty much every nail polish collection that I can get my hands on here, and so if that sounds like something you would like, then you can probably feel pretty good about hitting that subscribe button, and some videos will start showing up in your feed that you will probably like. So today I am taking part in a collab that is put together by my friend Ashley. She's from the channel Pugs and Pearls. Here is her channel right here. Definitely go check her out. I'm going to list in the description bar all the names of the channels that are going to be participating in this collaboration. So today's collaboration is what's in my nail kit. So what are all the products that I use to do my nails? So I'm guessing that Ashley, probably like a lot of us here on YouTube, get a lot of questions in the comment section like, what base coat do you use? What top coat do you use? What remover do you use? What do you use to keep your polish staying along, on a long time? What do you, you know, all these type of questions and what better way than to hop around to each of our channels today and find out what we all use. You get a lot of really good ideas of what new products to try. So that's what the collab is today. We're gonna go ahead and get right into it. So thank you, Ashley, for inviting me to participate with you. So first off, everyone wants to know what top coat do you use? Now, unless you're actually using gel polish, I find that pretty much most polishes come off no matter what within about three days. They just don't stay on as long for me, but I don't mind that because I really enjoy doing my nails and I enjoy having like a different nail polish on every day. But I do find that these um, top coats that are like um, gel-like top coats do help the polish to stay plumper and on a little bit longer. I do find that to be the case and you don't have to use them with the polish that they're marketed for. For example, the Essie Gel Couture Top Coat, which I actually haven't tried yet, is marketed to go with their Gel Couture polishes. But I do feel like if you use the Couture Top Coat with any polish, it's probably going to help that polish stay on longer. Something with Top Coat is make sure you're wrapping your tips. With your polish, wrap the tips. And with the Top Coat, wrap the tips. And that means taking the polish over the edge of the nail so that it completely wraps over the polish and it's going to help it stay on longer. So let me tell you a few of my favorites. I have tried a lot, and if you don't see your favorite on here, that doesn't necessarily mean I tried it and didn't like it. I just can't really list all of them for you right now. So let me give you a really um, quick rundown of a lot of the ones that I like. So my favorite is from Super Chick Lacquer, and that's because the Liquid Macro Top Coat just is so juicy looking on the nails. The only thing about this one is it's not always in stock, so I try to like conserve what I have. So I don't use it all the time, but I really, really like this one. I definitely recommend it if you've never tried it. So um, one from the drugstore that I really enjoy, this is the Quick Dry Top Coat from Revlon. This one is really, really good. It does actually dry quickly. It looks really nice. It's great from the drugstore. So I really enjoy this one. As you can see, it's pretty full because I went through my last one and I picked up another one. That's how much I like it. And I think sometimes you can even find this at places like Big Lots or something. One from Sally's that I enjoy, this one's called Oh So Wet, and this one is really glossy looking as well. I like this, I use this for like three weeks solid for swatching photos, and I'm all the way down here, and it's pretty much hard to get any top coat out of this anymore. So I might need to get another one of these because I really did enjoy this a lot, and this is from Sally's. While we're on the topic of Sally's, I did have this recommended to me by a friend and I haven't used it yet, but a lot of you guys seem to really enjoy this. So if you haven't heard about this polish or this top coat yet, it's called Jealous and it's um, American Classics and it's at Sally's. So definitely pick this up if you're there. It's like five something. And a lot of you recommend this to me and people personally that are that know me that are like, oh, you haven't tried that yet. So I'm definitely gonna be giving it a try. And so I can't personally speak to this, but from what you guys say, um, it's kind of like glitter food. So this is a really good one for glitter if you need something to kind of even out your glitters and make it look really, really good. Like um, this would probably be really good for the Zoya Pixie Dust too if you really want them to look glossy. When I am not using my Super Chick Liquid Macro, the other indie um, brand that I really enjoy is the HK Girl from Glisten and Glow. This one just looks great. It makes every polish look really, really delicious. This one had a lot of hype on YouTube and so I wanted to try it out for myself and I definitely agree, it's really good. Last up, an example of a brand that's marketing a gel-like top coat. This is from Pure Ice. It's really good. It's very shiny, and you can use it with like anything. You don't just have to use it with the Pure Ice ones. But I've tried a lot of them, and this one is probably the least expensive out of all of them, and I really like it. 
Next up is base coat, and I usually want my base coat to do one of two things. I either want it to be really great at blocking stains because I hate it when a polish stains my nails, but I love wearing green and blue polish, and those are the ones that usually are the biggest culprits. So one that's great for stain blocking, now this isn't going to be like absolutely you're never gonna have stained nails ever again, but this is marketed for stain blocking and I really enjoy it, and this is the Super Chick Lacquer Bring It On. Um, it's a stain blocker and color bonder, so it's supposed to actually help the color stay on your nails longer. I don't know about that because, like I said, I wear my polish usually for only one to two days. But I do really enjoy this, and the consistency is really nice. Another indie brand that I really enjoy, they have a number of base coats there, is from Pretty Serious. And one that I've had for a while is called All Your Base, and as you can see, it's like a kind of yellowy tan color and it just has a lot of nutrients and it's good for your nails and that's usually what I'm actually looking for in a base coat. Another good thing about base coats is it's going to smooth down your nails so like the Zoya, um, like the prepping steps that they have for your manicure are really good too. I have noticed that that's, um, it kind of just like cleans off the surface of your nail and makes it really ready to receive the polish but I am actually just gonna stick with these ones today that I already have out. Oh yeah I was gonna say from Pretty Serious another one that I like it's called Harden Up. So I'm usually looking for something that's gonna build up the strength in my nails because I'm tearing the strength down all the time by putting on polish and removing it all the time you know like constantly so that's what I'm usually looking for. So another one that I like is OPI's Nail Envy Nail Strengthener. I really like this one too I just I usually tend to just um, put this on right before I'm gonna get ready to go to bed and then slather up with lotions or cuticles or whatever and this is usually the one I'm wearing to bed. So that's what I like for base coat. Alright, the next category is nail tools and the only nail tool that I use that doesn't fit into one of the other categories here is this cuticle nipper and I don't use it to clip my cuticles. I actually use it because I get like the skin on the side of my nails. You probably will have noticed in my swatching sometimes it kind of tends to break and then it's kind of like, it's just kind of like hanging there. That sounds weird, but it's very minuscule. But when you're looking at a swatch photo and your nail is like really big, that kind of stuff stands out. So I actually use these little nippers to kind of like um, be able to go in and get them because if you go like pull it off with your fingernail, you're going to rip the skin and you don't want to do that. So I can use these because they're very, very small and I can just go in there and just nip that little piece of skin off the side and so this is really helpful. I enjoy these a lot and again I don't use these to clip my cuticles because I've heard nightmares about that so I wouldn't really recommend that but I do like it for like on the sides of my nails the like the extra skin. That's weird guys. That's weird. Alright so the next category is nail cleanup brush and I know a lot of people do ask this question so if you don't know what that is it's just a little brush that's very small that can fit right next to your cuticle and clean up the nail polish. So this is the brush from e.l.f. and it's their professional concealer brush and you can just pick it up for $1, Target, Walmart, wherever you pick up your e.l.f. products. I like this um, because it is so inexpensive. So after you've used this for a while on acetone, the brush actually tends to fatten up so it's not as useful to you when you're going to clean up. But I've used a lot of different things. I've used you know, slightly more expensive brushes from Michaels or whatever that are angled, those are good too. You just need something very small and thin because you, you need it to be thin this way so that it's not going to grab onto your nail at all. You can, you can easily slide it past. And like I said, this does thicken up after time, but it's so inexpensive. I just grab like five at a time and then I'm set for a couple months. You know what I mean? So that's why I like this. I know that some people have said that they're, um, their hairs fall out after having it in acetone but I don't ever just like put this in acetone and leave it sitting in the acetone you know what I mean to where it's gonna seep up into the um, what is this called the fennel is that right anyway I don't leave it so that it can do that and go ruin the glue I just basically dipping acetone into the very bottom half of these bristles so maybe that's why that happens to people I'm not really sure but it's never happened to me so I've been using this same brush for years, for like five years. So I really enjoy it because it's so inexpensive and it works well for me. All right, the next category is nail files and buffers. And I don't really buff my nails. I know that sometimes at the salon they do that to kind of help you get rid of ridges, just kind of clean up your nails if they really haven't been, you know, painted or taken care of for a while, for example. Like 
my toenails, but <laughs> since I'm constantly doing stuff with my nails and I really take care of them a lot because that's kind of like my job, I don't really buff my nails a lot because they don't tend to need it. But um, there's a really good one at Sally's. It's like a four-sided block. I would say that that's the one I would probably show you if I still had it in front of me. I have picked up that one before and enjoyed it. As for files, I like the glass files that you can pick up at Sally's. This is by the brand, the brand Swiss Co. And they just, it doesn't matter what color you pick, but I like these because they tend to um, not dull as fast, not take as giant chunks out of your nail as fast. There's nothing worse than just, oh, than just the idea of just grating up your nail with a giant chunky nail file that's just destroying your nail. So I really like this one, especially because the nail shape that I keep now is like a longer, um, more almond shape. And it's because my nails break a lot on the sides. They get, um, not cuts in them, but yeah, they basically break on the side. And so the way that I keep them growing long is I can take my file and file on the side of the nail and keep it thinner on the sides. Also, my nails tend to get whiter, like they grow out wide, especially if I'm ever, if it's ever really warm, my nails not splay out, that sounds weird, but it's kind of what's happening. So instead of like C curving in and getting thinner, like some people do, especially when it gets colder, my nails will do that. Mine kind of tend to expand, and so I don't really prefer that look on myself, so I can use this file really nicely to just like this and take my shape down a little bit, and I really enjoy this file. I do go through them pretty quickly because you can only really use like the edges here to do what you need to do, but they're not super expensive, but this is the one I like. All right, the next category is nail polish removers, and I use so much acetone and nail polish remover that I can't really afford to buy like super expensive stuff. So I go with the stuff that you can find at Sally Beauty because I go through this like a beast and I really need to be able to get something that's not too expensive. Also, I don't mind the smell of this, so that is good too because like I said, I'm using it constantly. So here is the bottle you can pick up that is 32 fluid ounces, but this is actually what I get this bad boy. So this is how much acetone I need. Um, yeah, I just, I go through it a lot guys and that's what I use. You definitely can get non-acetone remover, more nourishing acetone removers, but um, I don't know, that's what I like and it seems to work the best for me. For my cleanup work, I actually use pure acetone because it makes the nail polish just come right off like super duper easily and I only use it for that. I don't use it for everywhere just for cleaning up around my cuticles. Yes, this will dry your cuticles out and that is why you make sure to wash your hands every time after you're done painting your nails and use lots of cuticle oil. Um, but this is what's best for cleanup work, just like, you know, with that little brush that I showed you. I have used the Zoya and I like it. It's just more expensive. I actually have it right over there. Um, the pumper bottle I don't like. Every time I use that pumper bottle, it goes everywhere. That's a whole different topic though. The next category is cuticle remover and I did show those nippers to you, but I don't use them for that. And actually, I don't use cuticle remover at all. I just don't find the need to. I feel like once you've got your cuticles really nice and moisturized and they're used to having moisture all the time, simply pushing them back with a cuticle pusher like this one that you can get from e.l.f. Two of them for a dollar. I think I got this at Big Lots. It looks like I did because the sticker is still on there. Um, simply pushing them back is really going to probably be all you need unless you have extremely tough cuticles or something and they just want to grow down into your nail and they never go up but I feel like after consistency of using something like this you're gonna be able to train your cuticles to kind of do what you want them to do I don't think you need to go in and like be removing them all the time they do have removers at um, Sally's that you can get and I do have it but I actually don't even find them to really do anything for me and it's just it's something that I don't really want to mess with. Like I don't want to mess with that part of my um, fingernail because I just kind of wanted to leave it alone and a little bit more healthy. So I don't use one. All right, the next category is cuticle oils and that is something I do use a lot of. So three of my favorites I'm gonna share with you today. Actually, I'm gonna share with you four. I don't usually think of this first one as a cuticle oil, so that's why it just jumped in as the fourth one. But this is probably the one that I use actually the most because um, this is another e.l.f. product. It's a nourishing cuticle pen with avocado and almond oils. And I use this the most because it's super handy when I'm swatching. 
So you know how I use the pure acetone to clean up around my nail and make sure everything's nice and tight. And then what happens is that can instantly dry out your nails. So I just take this little nib right here and I can run it around exactly where I've just been. And then I can kind of like um, blend it out kind of like with eyeshadow into my skin and it immediately gets rid of that and I don't I'm not glopping up a bunch of oil all over my hand to mess up the photo so this actually comes in super handy for me I love it I buy a lot of these and it's like weirdly shaped now I don't know why but I really really definitely recommend this um, but it's not really strong enough for nighttime or whatever during the day like when I'm sitting down and I just really want to nourish my hands up for a while um, when I know I have some time to leave a good thick cuticle oil on. I will go for something else. So first up, this one is really good because I love the smell. I'm just obsessed with the smell of clove. This is pure argan and clove and it's a super conditioning serum from Super Chick Lacquer. Um, I basically, this is on my list because I love the smell so much. It's just so delicious. It makes me think of Thanksgiving. So I love this one. Um, the next one is from Pretty Serious and um, they have a whole bunch of cuticle oils and this one is the um, bubblegum scent and so I really like this because again it just smells really really good but it, these two are on the thinner side they're like thinner oils now something that I've tried really recently that I am basically obsessed with this is my new obsession <laughs> obsession obsession this is from the brand Koki um, professional and this is the brand that is made by the same people that came up with simple colors and we all know and love them and they did send me some of their new products that they have out and this is one of the things that they sent and this is the brush on cuticle oil and this is different this is thick and like really luscious feeling this is this is good stuff so let me show you what it looks like so when you take the cap off it's a brush um, kind of like Kylie Cosmetics lip gloss brushes or um, what else comes like this they're just different lip products that comes like this and you twist up the bottom so that the product comes out and actually with lipsticks I don't usually tend to love this and I wasn't sure if I was gonna love this for my um, for my cuticles but the product is so luscious. I'm not sure what it is that it smells like, but it's so good. It's like kind of tropical and kind of not. Let's see what it says. Jojoba seed oil, sweet almond oil, shea butter. I mean, there's, there's so much. Oh, there's apricot. Maybe that's what I'm smelling. It might be the apricot, but anyway, I love the smell of this. So it's really, really, it's not like so thick. It's obnoxious, but it's thick to where you know it's really gonna do you some good. And I love the little applicator brush. Sorry, I, I don't wanna put the product, or um, you know, waste the product that I just squoze out. So I wanna go ahead and use it. And um, I actually, what I do is I put on my base coat, and then I go ahead and apply this around my cuticle, and then this brush is just so nice. I just use it and I just, I just paint the rest of it all over my nail. I just love how this brush feels, it's so good. I wanna take it and like apply it all over my face, it feels so good, you guys. So I will be repurchasing this every time I run out because I love this so much, you guys. So definitely recommend, and again, it's a messy one. This is not one you'd use right after you paint, you know, paint your nails and wanna go take a photo. You would not use it for that. You would use it when you have a chance to let your nails sit for a little while, soak up all the goodness, you could massage it into your hand. I really enjoy this. So the last category is lotion, and I have a kajillion of them because I'm constantly needing lotion. So there are so many things I could talk to you about, but one that I have been using for a long time and I continue to use is this Mane and Tail Hoof Maker. The reason I like this, you can get this at Sally's by the way, it's a very non-greasy lotion. I love it, I love all their products. I like their, um, their shampoo too. But I really um, don't want a greasy lotion sometimes. I want to know that I'm rep replenishing the hydration to the area that really, really needs it. Um, but, and I don't want it to be like all greasy hands. So this is the one I use when I don't want that. It doesn't have a particular smell. It is not very expensive. The bottom of it's kind of messed up because my son got into this the other day. But I don't care. I love it and I will continue to repurchase this over and over. I have like a bunch of bottles of these in my closet. So definitely recommend if you don't want greasy lotion. And the other lotion that I am super crazy about right now is this one here and this is from Soap and & Glory. And this is another product that had a lot of hype on YouTube 
and I thought it was just hype until I heard Emily Noel talk about it and I really trust her opinion. I don't feel like she promotes anything that anybody's paying her to do or anything. I know she does get a lot of promotional material from brands, but she is probably one of the most sincere seeming people to me on YouTube. So then when I saw other people promoting it and then I saw her talk about it, I was like, okay, I definitely need to get this product. And the reason why people hype it is because the smell, it's a um, sweet lime fragrance and it really is that good, you guys. It really just, <laughs> I don't know, I just love it. I just, it's a body cream. So you can wear, you know, you can put this all over your entire body after you take a shower and you'll smell like heaven for the entire day. But I love applying it like five or six times a day on my hands. That's what I really enjoy it. So, mouth watering, irresistible, moisturizing, try it. So, I definitely recommend. I want to get a tub of these for all my girlfriends for their birthdays because I love it so much. All right guys, so that concludes all the questions in this video. I hope that you enjoyed this. I hope you found it informational. Please go hop around to some of the other channels and let them know that I sent you if you had never been to visit them before. I hope that you have some fun learning about what everybody else likes. This is such a great idea and I think it's gonna be really helpful to a lot of people who've been wondering these questions. What do other people like to use for this? Now, granted, we're all different. All of our body chemistries are different, so something that works well for me may not work well for you. you that's just a given. So if you um, know something that you absolutely love that fit into one of these categories that I did not mention that you think I absolutely need to know about, please mention it below. I would really appreciate hearing from you. That's gonna be it for our video today. I hope you had some fun. I'll see you back for my next video. Take care, bye. I'm definitely gonna be wearing a lot. <laughs> I'm definitely gonna be wearing this polish a lot this fall on her, you're so cute. Okay, one more from OPI. Green. Green. Yeah, this is green. This is Susie the First Lady of Nails, again from this year's Washington DC collection.